In this video, I will look at statements with two quantifiers, and I will explain why the order matters. Let's look at these two statements. The first one says, for every integer x, there exists an integer y such that x is less than y. And the second says, there exists an integer y such that, for every integer x, x is less than y. They look very similar. The only difference is that I have swapped the order of the two quantifiers. And yet, this drastically changes the meaning. I can tell you that one of them is true and the other one is false. At this moment, I invite you to pause the video, think about the two statements, try to understand what they mean, figure out which one is true, which one is false and why. And once you are satisfied, keep watching for an answer. Okay, I'm going to look first at the second statement. In this second statement, we say that there exists an integer y such that this is true. So there exists an integer y with this property. And the property is that for every integer x, x is less than y. So there exists an integer y that satisfies this, and it must be the same y for all values of x. That's the key part here. We are using the same y for different x. On the other hand, in the first statement, we begin by saying that for every x integer, there exists a y with a property. So now I'm saying there exists a y that has this property. But here I'm saying for every x, there is a y. So for x equals 1, there exists a y. For x equals 2, there exists another y. For x equals 3, there exists another y. The key here is that we may use different y for different x. We don't have to. Perhaps we are able to find the same y working for all x, but we are allowed to use different y. Where instead in the second statement, it should be the same y for all x. And that's the difference between the two. So now that we understand that, let's try to write this in English as a sentence. The second statement says that there exists an integer y satisfying that and it's the same one. So in other words, there is an integer y that is greater than all the integers. And when we put it that way, we see that this statement is false. There is no such a thing as an integer greater than all others. As for the first statement, what it says is that for every integer x, I can find another one greater. So every integer is smaller than some other one. And when I put it this way, well, we see that that is true. Yes, every integer is smaller than another one. If I give you a value of x, you will always find one to reply that is bigger. And that is the difference. So the moral is that when we have statements with multiple quantifiers, and they can get much bigger with many more, the order matters a lot because the order tells us what depends on what and whether a variable is allowed or not to change when a different variable changes.